Hey guys, if you fancy yourselves any Ultimate Team coins or any Xbox One PSN codes, then you can check out GameGoldTrader.com. Make sure you use Calfreezy at checkout. You will grab yourself a discount. But I don't want to hold you any longer. I hope you guys enjoyed this FIFA 15 exciting players video. And let me know your thoughts down below. Enjoy the video, guys. What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this FIFA 15 exciting players video that I thought I would do for you guys and uh, yeah so this video is pretty much just going to be about some of the players you guys are looking forward to playing with or seeing in FIFA 15 and some of the combinations so um, to anyone who doesn't know I use Twitter quite religiously I'm a big user on there so if you don't already follow me um, I'll leave a link down below you guys can check that out and uh, follow me over there but I tweet out as you guys can see here players you guys are looking forward to using in FIFA 15 and why. And so I got a whole bunch of different responses from you guys and so um, throughout this video We're just gonna mention a few of them But uh, I want to do another follow-up video to this because there's only like four or five players that I've chosen So if you guys would like to leave me your um, Players that you're excited to play with in FIFA 15 down in the comments and why as well That would be amazing so I can screenshot that and put it in the video just like this So uh, let's get into uh, our very first player here our first player on the list, and who is actually a, a really popular sort of choice in my mentions, was in fact uh, Luke Shaw. Now, he has just completed his move to uh, Manchester United. Now, I believe he went for about 27 million, and that was going to rise to 31 or something around there anyways. And uh, Sam Young here on Twitter says the career mode potential with one of those cheeky little smiley faces. So, um, what he's thinking about, he's thinking Luke Shaw is going to be amazing in career mode when it comes to, um, you know, uh, a player's potential. So, I'm thinking he could really climb up to 88 89 something like that and especially because of his move to United you know FIFA will uh, recognize that and uh, I mean United did, did it as sort of uh, you know investing in the future as well you know that's a lot of money for a left back but if you're gonna get a good 10 years out of him then it's a really good deal so um, yeah so as you guys can see this was actually one of the really popular ones I actually gave him a little bit of a, a rating boost it's not accurate or anything like that I just did it because let's be honest guys he will be getting an upgrade from his previous silver card, but uh, yeah, don't keep an eye on the uh, stats too much. I haven't upgraded the stats or anything like that, um, only the overall, and even then, it's not exactly accurate, and I've done that with a few players, so just keep your eyes open for that. Um, we're not really here to talk about player upgrades or anything like that, just to talk about which ones we're excited to use. Next up, guys, we have this incredible player who I've thoroughly enjoyed watching during the World Cup so far, and that is the man himself, Memphis Depay. Now, this lad was uh, recommended to me by Owen. Owen said Memphis Depay because he'll be a cheap and non-rare beast on FIFA Ultimate Team. And I have to agree with you. You can definitely expect an upgrade. Again, like I said, the overalls, the stats, they are not accurate. I simply just made, you know, made some sort of upgrade so you guys see that he's getting some form of upgrade, but I just didn't put a lot, a lot of time and thought into that. So just keep that in mind with the upgrade but uh, yeah and if he is a non-rare if EA decide to make him a non-rare he is going to go for a quite a cheap price and that could be really interesting so his current club is PSV but there's been a lot of talk a lot of rumors about him possibly moving clubs and if he does that may bump his price up for FIFA 15 but uh, yeah I don't want to make uh, too many assumptions or anything like that but uh, if he does move club and he comes to the Premier League possibly then his price will definitely go up and uh, who knows maybe even they might even bump up his uh, skill moves because a few people in my mentions also said something along those lines so that's memphis to pay for you after those two youngsters, we now have this pairing right here. The David Luiz and Silva pairing. Now, let's not be around the bush, guys. These are two of the best centre-backs in the game in FIFA 14, and you can thoroughly expect them to be just as good in FIFA 15. Can you imagine having Luiz and Silva as your two centre-backs? Laurie there um, says Luiz and Silva in a League 1 team, smiley face. And, you know, there are so many reasons to be happy for this, but I really... Could, like, just think about it. you got these two center backs right now and then you have Ibrahimovic as a striker like league one teams are going to be really really solid and uh, it'll be interesting to see if PSG bring in any more players as well um it'll just make that I mean that team is just stacked full of quality players but uh yeah these this two pairing here is really exciting I can't wait to use them because they are going to be the most sweaty center back pairing you're going to get I mean they both have close to 80 pace as center backs they're really strong and we all know David Luiz is just the wigged terminator there's no two ways about it so um, when these two get paired up on one team, I really do fear for the opposition and them attempting to score goals. So um, as a pairing, this should be really exciting to see. But let's move on to the next exciting player for FIFA 15. 
Now we've just been bombing PSG's defensive pairing, but now we got these two guys here who have just been moved over to Chelsea. Now, um, Diego Costa is almost confirmed Chelsea player, I think. Um, anyways, it's very, very likely if not if, if it's not already official. Um, Courtois was obviously loaned out to Atletico Madrid, but now he's been recalled back to the Chelsea squad, so you can expect him to be playing next season. And uh, both of those players coming back, they'll be really good to have in a team. Um, definitely for me, I think Courtois in this game is quality although it has to be said his team of the season didn't really impress me I'm not entirely sure that uh, why that was but his normal was still really good um, and of course Diego Costa who has been absolutely immense for Atletico Madrid now over to Chelsea and uh, yeah he's just gonna do damage up front and they really do need an out and out striker it's something they've been missing for a little while now and uh, you can just imagine it with Hazard on the left and then uh, Costa in there somewhere he's gonna get some quality service and Chelsea are gonna be a force to be reckoned with and uh, Tommy Ashby thinks very much the same. He can't wait to have both these players in a BPL squad. So um, that is going to be that. Now we've got our very last player coming up. And that is your man, Ramsey. A whole bunch of you Arsenal fans were screaming Ramsey's name and how, how desperate they are for an upgrade for Ramsey. On your screen right now is, in fact, his team of the season card. And you can see the Arsenal fan um, tweeted me saying um, he really hopes that he gets an upgrade. And I, I think it's very much deserved. I'm not entirely sure what his rating is going to be, but I do think he'll have an upgrade because, let's be honest, he did have a quality season this season for Arsenal. And, uh, yeah, very impressive. So I'm expecting an upgrade for him again I don't want to say what his upgrade will be or anything like that because at the end of the day guys you can all make predictions and things like that but EA do whatever the hell EA want to do and most of the times we tend to be pretty off because EA always like to go and do their own thing you know for all we know um, Ramsey could come back 97 rated next year who knows you know what I mean so um, yeah that's his team of the season card right there but I imagine it'll be something around there maybe an 85 something like that so I hope you guys um, have enjoyed this video and like I said earlier please let me know who do you think is an exciting player for FIFA 15? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm excited to see what you guys have to say. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys all have a great day. And let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes for this video. I hope to see you guys later. Bye-bye.